Hey everyone, James here at Microsoft. So literally just saw a tweet five seconds ago that Visual Studio Mobile Center now supports multiple inputs from multiple GitHub repositories. I'm super excited about that. So I've been doing a demo recently where I have this tic-tac-toe application and here it is in Visual Studio Team Services and I have these build steps. So if I go into the build definitions, uh, I have all my code actually inside of here. And this is the important part is that where does your code live today? So my code here lives inside of Visual Studio Team Services. Uh, so here's all of my different uh, modifications that I had that were coming in. I have my back end services, I have my front end services. And what's unique about this application is that I actually have a ASP.NET Core back end to it. So I'd probably want to actually set up that build in Visual Studio Team Services and maybe I have other services that are pinging in. So if I look at my builds here, we can see that I actually do have an iOS and an Android build and this tic-tac-toe core service to build my build there. Now, if I was to tap on one of these Android releases, I could come and see that I have kind of multiple build steps, multiple things that are being triggered, nightly builds, a whole bunch of other stuff inside of there and some that are being queued up because this was actually being built on my Mac build host, which happens to be turned off currently. So I can come into Mobile Center. I created a new application uh, for Xamarin Android. And what I can do now is come into this build uh, section right here. And this is crazy. Look at this right here. We have this new cup. They're drinking some coffee. They're so excited, Visual Studio and mobile, and we're gonna build some stuff. So what I can do now is I can come into Visual Studio Team Services, and um, it will go out. I've already authenticated it uh, first, and I can say tic-tac-toe. And if you haven't authenticated yourself with the application, it will go ahead and pop up and ask you to authenticate again. Else, I've already authenticated here, so it shows me all of my repos uh, inside of here. Immediately here, I can say open in Visual Studio Team Services. It takes me directly into my code of that project. I can tap on my master branch, set up a branch, and here we can see what do I want to build if I want to build debug release alpha. It's a Xamarin Android application, so it automatically picked it up. We'll do a debug build and we won't sign it, so it'll just uh, um, go ahead and build it. And immediately now, what will happen is that we'll kick off a build inside of Visual Studio Team Services, or actually inside of Mobile Center, which is being powered by Visual Studio Team Services but it's gone ahead and queued it up. I have no build machines that I needed a provision. Everything is taken care of it automatically for mobile center, which is awesome. So now we can see that there's a build agent. I didn't set up anything else. I didn't set up anything in VSTS to talk to mobile center. I just granted it permission. And again, this is something that mobile center is, is handling for me, not my own build machine or anything like that. And it's building this application. I can, of course, come into my different test sections here if I wanted to actually run some tests on it or distribute those and actually create some distribution groups and, of course, tie in other crash reporting and analytics into this application. But it's pretty awesome because in just about two minutes, I pointed it to my Visual Studio Team Services and I'm automatically building my Android. And, of course, I could set up my iOS application as well. Anyways, I hope that you like this video and setting up a Visual Studio Team service. You could also set up Bitbucket or, of course, GitHub right there. Hope you enjoyed it. Check it out at mobile.azure.com. Until next time, I'm James. Peace.